Come out, come out, you idiotic little human pests. I heard you said prayers against me recently. Can't have that, can we? Only a matter of time before I get into your pathetic little church, humans. Actually, I think I've grown bored of this game already. So let's move things along, shall we? You. Twenty seconds, and they're all dead. Except for you. Oh, you look so lonely. Come here, little one. I'll make it quick. Hand to God, I promise. <laughs> there you go, little one. I love it when you squishy little bags of blood thinks your life is still your own. Run. RUN! Come on, you're so close to being safe, little one. Run. Pray. Do everything you can to save yourself. Oh no. Mean Mrs. Red Scar is right behind me. She could reach out and snag me at any single fucking second. Got you, little one. By this pretty little waist, no less. Mm hmm. Hmm. I love it when you little humans thrash. Come on, human. I have you by your waist with one hand. What do you think is gonna happen now? Oh, I adore it when you soft ones plead for your life. Like music to these old ears. You gave me a good chase. The rest of your brothers and sisters hardly had time to scream, but you... Oh, you heard the howling and ran. Like a good little human that knows their place. Actually, where do you think that place is, hmm? Oh, by the side of your god? Mm-hmm, that's cute. No, no, see, you get two options here. One... I rip out your throat with my teeth and watch you drown in your own blood. Or, you be sweet and sit in my lap when I ask. You be sweet when I call you. You be sweet and say, yes, mistress, when I tell people you're my property, which you are now. I decide if you live or die. Your life is in my hands. Every second of your days now. But if you're a good, obedient little nun, well, I might just be sweet to you in return. So what do you say? <laughs> tears? Why shed tears? You're a survivor, little one. The one person not called to realize their god is fake or has abandoned them, because no benevolent god would ever have let me come near his followers. Go ahead. Pray. I'll wait. Well, how about that? Nothing happened. Oh, <laughs> you look so hopeless and defeated. Having a bad day, sweetheart? It might just improve if you be a sweetheart and sit in my lap, you know. Unless you'd like to meet your god or the abyss. My teeth are right against your neck, my dear. One snap, and it's all over. Do you want a coward's death, or do you want to take your chances with me and live? Survive or die, nun. It's not hard. Decide! Hmm, good little one, yes. Choose life. Hate me in secret. Plot my demise. Earn your revenge if you think you have the strength. I look forward to it. But for now, I'll pull my teeth away from that sweet, delicate throat. There we go. 
Here, let me wipe away those tears. Goodness, I'm using my knuckle, but you just keep crying. Do I need to lick up those pretty tears, my dear? Oh, why am I asking the property what it wants? Hold still. Oh, calm yourself. I licked up your tears. I'm not clawing those ridiculous robes in half with one claw, am I? Or thou? Ah, no. I'd best wait to unwrap you until after we're home. I suspect the paladins will be along soon, woefully late as usual, and mad about not getting to mate. Come along, nun. It's time to go home. Be sweet for me and cling on to my back, arms around my neck and legs around my waist. Unless you like me carrying you by your waist. If you like the idea of me potentially snapping you in half on accident. <laughs> See? You're already so obedient. Mm -hmm. It's like walking into a candy store and asking for the most delicious chocolate figure they have. Did you just say, shame chocolate kills dogs? <laughs> The nun does have a little bit of a spine. <laughs> oh. You get to do that one time, nun. And that was it. Understood? Good. Come along now. Let's get you back to my home. Among your new, toothy, vicious, rowdy little family. I'm sure they'll adore you just as much as I'm starting to.